Yes. Yes, sir. The next case now from Deborah Aku. Now, the lady where she alleged to say some youths burnt down their ah. house in um, Benway <clears throat> State, sir. Coach, go and work with the control room people. Enter now. Chebi, you don't send them the videos. You go tell us, you go signal me when they're done, they're ready because we don't inform them beforehand. <clears throat> My dear? Yes, sir. Waiting be your name. Good morning, my ordinary president. Good morning, Brekete family. Good morning, Nigerians. My name is Doshima Deborah Aku. Which state are you from? I'm from Benue State. You are living in Benue State, originally from Benue State? I am from Benue State and I live in Benue State. Which local government are Boko you from? Boko local government. Boko? Yes, sir. My senior sister, they married for Boko. Is it Boko South? Boko North. Okay. <laughs> Which village you from? Okay. My local government is actually Ushongu local government. Mm. But I was born and brought up in Boko local government. Where on account they live? We live at Akaha the community. Akaha the community. Yes, he was the first take Boko. That is the traditional ruler in the Boko community local local government he was the first but he's late now mm -mm. so we, we we stay in his community okay yes sir tell us the story My you want to don't be you won't stand i won't stand sir okay tell take sir. your time tell us the story because this lady here and her siblings na miracle una de siso they suppose don't turn to ashes by now wow when I go hear the story, continue. Thank you, my ordinary president. My mother is a civil servant in Benue State. Where should they work? She works at Akbar and Oshi College of, Agric College of Agriculture. It's now a polytechnic in Boko local government. She worked, she has been working there since 91. When she got married to a thief man. My mother is originally from Boronu State. Okay. But she got married to my father, a thief man, and came. And then she got to work in 1991, and she has been working there till now. She's about to retire. So in 2012, she purchased the land at the Akaha, the community, six plots of land. She wanted a very big plot because she's interested in farming. You know, Benue is an agricultural state, so we all farm. So she got six plots. We built our family house on one part of the land, and we used the remaining parts for farming. We moved there in 2016, and we have been staying there. When we got to that community, there was no light. My mother was able to bring light to the community. Hmm. We also, she also sunk a borehole in that community, and we also give water to them. In fact, she bought one tank and dedicated it to the community. Mm -hmm. to be yes, I appreciate water Mama. And my mother is somebody that plans her life. She's a civil servant. You should know that even salary payment is not consistent. For her to buy that land and build that house, she entered what they call suicide contribution, where more than 90% of your salary goes to the contribution. Yes, so that you can, she can get money and buy that land and build that house. That is how we're able to build that house. That is and highly sacrificial. In fact, mm. she called us her children when she wanted to embark on that project and told us that she wants to build a house now. We are, are we tired of staying in the rented apartment? She said, yes, okay, we have to deny ourselves of some pleasures. There are certain things she will not be able to provide for us again. So we should just take care of ourselves and ensure that, and, and support her so that she can embark on this project. So she built a five-bedroom apartment, sir. Very big house because of her her commitment to ensuring that she wants to get the better things of life. So we've been there, staying peacefully and helping these people. In fact, my elder brother lives there, and he has been helping those area boys in the community, because most of them are not educated. So he gets contract, maybe farming in other states in the south. He will pack these boys, because they are farmers. We in Benway are farmers. He will pack them to the south, go and farm. The least person will be coming back with about 100,000 naira so that they can make life better for themselves. That's how we've been helping them. Early this year, we discovered that goats in the community started entering our farm. Our house is not fenced. My mother has already built blocks to fence 
the entire property. But you know how cement prices and mm. cost of things. So she's yet to embark on the fencing project. So goats from the community, so they're coming to her farm, destroying her crops. So she, she followed the goats because every goat, when they go out in the, for the day, in the evening, they go to their houses. So one day she followed the goats when they were going back to their houses to go and know who are the owners of these goats. Mm. So she went to them, pleading with them that, please tie your goats. You're doing goat business, I'm doing farming business. I also keep animals. My mother has goats, she has pigs. But she keeps them indoors and feeds them inside. So please, tie your goats so that they won't come and trespass on my property and destroy my crops. They just looked at her. The goats kept coming, kept coming. In fact, one part of the, the farm has been completely destroyed because of the activities of these goats. Then one day, she looked for the community leader the youth community leader in the community, and went and reported to him. The letter followed due process. Okay, this has been, this has been a disturbance. Goats have been disturbing us in the house. So she has come to report that she has already met the owners of this goat too, and they have not heeded her plea. So please, you should do something about it. And when she was going, she told us that if you can catch some of these goats, so that she will take it to them as evidence that she caught these goats on her farm. And you see how goats are stubborn. But we were able to manage to catch about two goats. She now took it to the community leader that she caught these two goats on her farm. She has already told the owners they did not heed the advice. Now she has physically been able to get two of the goats and she has brought it to him to report that, okay, she caught these goats on her farm. They should do something about it. The community leader told her that, okay, when he gets the owners of the goats, he will call us and they will settle the matter. Four days later, we still saw those goats on our farm. She now went back to him. She said, I, I caught goats and brought to you. You did not talk to me. I, I'm seeing these goats back on my farm. He said, eh, he, he got the owners of the goats. He warned them and gave them back their goats. She said, is that how they to settle matter? The complainant, he did not call me. And then she said, OK. So we've been back in our house on the sixth, in early um, first week of um, March. That is, 16th of March this year, one of our neighbors came to the house with a cutlass. Mm. We we're outside. My mother was not around. He came to the house with a cutlass. He came out there warning us. We have two little girls in the house, less than 10. We we're outside walking. He now came to the house with that cutlass and was now warning us that his goats died. And is from our, they told him that it is from our house that the goats died. We did not see any dead goat too. He says, it's our house that the goat died. So if any of his goat dies again, he's going to come and finish us in this house. So we just kept our calm because you cannot be arguing with somebody that has brandished the cutlass to your house. Mm. So we kept our calm. What him be his name? His name is... Continue when you remember. Tiav. Tiav. Yes. Tiav. So... We, we left. When my mother came back from work that evening, we narrated what happened to her. She said, ah, if somebody can come to her house with a cutlass, if she goes to go and ask, hmm. if she goes to the person's house to yeah, ask, why um, did you come with a cutlass to my house, the person might stab her. Because so, the person will get the effrontery yes. to come to somebody's house with a cutlass. It means uh, it will say small resistance day. If I use the cutlass, yes. talk more of when you can't go to the person house, say you won't make an inquiry. So she so, said it's better to now in, uh, involve constituted authority. So she will go and report the matter to the police. Mm -hmm. So she went to the police and reported. They now gave her two officers to come and uh, pick the boy for questioning. So when they came to the house, they saw the boy. And when they arrested, they, they, they even arrested him. He entered the vehicle. Then one other boy in the area now came and said, where are they taking this boy to? Mm. Police doesn't arrest anybody in this area. Mm -hmm. The police doesn't have any authority to arrest anybody in this area. So this boy is going nowhere. The policewoman, one of them, even removed her ID card and showed that, see, we are police. They said that, what, who is police? That to her with police. That is how he took stick that he was going to destroy the car. Other people that gathered collected the stick. He now went into the car. The boy was sitting between two police officers. Dragged the boy out of the vehicle. Mm -mm. I know that on such arrest, police will not carry gun because it is not a mm -hmm. life threat. So they only probably bring the baton or so. So he dragged the boy out of the vehicle. 
The police just told my mother that she should calm down. They should go back to the station. So when they went back to the station, the police now told my mom that this police is, this matter is between police and those people. It's no longer my mother's case because they have resisted arrest. They said, who is police? Police doesn't arrest anybody in this area. So they left. They said they will allow those boys to think that they are, the case has finished. Because as those boys have behaved like that, they will run away. Because they know that police will still come back to arrest. So they will not sleep. So they will make them feel that they've forgotten about the issue. So we came back, and the guys were now bragging that they beat up police. Police couldn't do them anything. As we are in this area, we will see something in this place. Even police that we thought that we have, they have pursued police. Mm -hmm. So police left. This was on the 16th of March, 2024. Police now left you 21st of March. It was on a Thursday early morning in the AMs. Police now came patrol, came to the boy's house. Because they already knew the boy's house. So they came, picked the boy. That is the person that came to our house with a cutlass. Mm -hmm. Tiav picked the boy, told him to take them to the person that removed him from the vehicle. Yes. That they cannot arrest him. He took them to his house. They arrested that one too. And told my mother that she should come to the station early in the morning. By 6 a.m. that morning, the entire family of the boy that came to our house with cutlass that has been arrested, they gathered in our compound. Well, my mother just there hearing noise that very early. So she just looked outside her window and saw that a community had con gathered in the compound. So she quickly went and woke my elder brother and said, she's sensing problem, so we should not go out of the house. Because it's my brother that relates with them very well in the community. So he knows them very, very well. He went to even give them food. food. He don't ah. like to give them work. They'll go and farm and get money. So he said, she knows that he's the one that relates with them. So if, if they are trying to be aggressive, he might also be aggressive but because he knows these boys so he said we should not go out so we all woke up we didn't open the door my brother they now started shouting in the house that they are going to finish all that we kidnapped their son they did not see their son that is not police the father now came the father of the boy his name is Anum Tiav he came to the compound he said who is that my mother should come out that my mother kidnapped her son I mean my mother kidnapped his son that police doesn't arrest people in the night so as far as he's concerned, it's my mother that kidnapped his son. And if he doesn't see his son, they are going to destroy the house. In fact, he's going to personally bring petrol to burn down this house. He was saying it in deep language. Yes. To your hearing. To our hearing. So as this thing was happening, in fact, that morning I was, I was, already, I was sick for about three days. I had fever. Immediately I saw the aggression. I became strong because I saw something that was more than sickness. Because there was so much aggression going on that, that morning. Were they carrying weapons? Yes, they were carrying sticks, cutlasses, stones. Those my mother's blocks that she had, I said she has already molded to mm. build fence. They were destroying it into smaller pieces to use as weapons. So I now quickly, because I, I read law and I know what evidence is, so I now quickly went and took my phone and started recording them. The, the man now spoke in TV language that, if I should be recording, even video finishes. So as far as they are concerned, if I like, I should record, nothing will happen. So he now said, in fact, what are they waiting for? They should start destroying the house. Eh? That is how they started so destroying he, the windows. They, the father of the boy that Is he an elderly class. man? Yes. It's about 50, 50 something. Now uh, use less. Mm -hmm. So he said, what are they waiting for? They should destroy the house. That's us when the house. They started destroying windows, trying to kill our dog. Because a dog is, is an aggressive dog, mm. but it was chained. Mm -mm. So they started throwing the dog to kill. So the dog was badly injured. If mm. I was saved the dog that day, was the fact that our sitting room, because it was chained near the frontage. So the sitting room down is glass with burglary. So the, as we were stoning, the glass broke. I so the dog now put his head inside yeah. the, the sitting room. So it was the body they were stoning, stoning. Mm -mm. It was badly injured, but it did not die because the head is the major part of the body. So they destroyed things, destroyed. So as well destroyed, my mother called the police mm -hmm. that this is what is happening in the house. So the police said, okay, they will come back. By the time, before the police will arrive, as the father had told the children to destroy, why they were destroying things in the house, the father went home, went and changed, <laughs> and went and brought his area chief to come. <laughs> 
So by the time they arrived back at the house, that was when the police came to. They didn't run, no. When they saw police, they did not run. Eh? Yes, they were there. So the police, too, used their own sense. Wisdom. Wisdom. So when they came, they said, OK, what's the matter? And my mother just said, this. that's when we also came out of the house. When the police came, that's when we came. And before the police came, the community leader that we had taken goats to. That, that, there was unconcern. That there was unconcern. Yes, he came when this thing was happening. When his boys were destroying, he came. He now told us through the window that, like, okay, he has come now. We should come out of the house. We said no. Hmm. We don't trust his judgment. Hmm. That we are reported to him. He did not do anything uh, now. Did, uh, these boys are aggressive. They couldn't enter the house because they tried to break into the house. Mm. The doors did not budge. Mm. So he now came and said, okay, we should come out. And we said, no, we don't trust him, so we won't come out. Mm. So he now said to us, since we don't want to come out, mm. he will go back. So he left. Uh -huh. Then by that time, police now came with the, the father of the boy came with his uh, chief. kindred head. That is the chief. So the police now said, okay. My mother said, this is the father of the boy that they arrested. He said uh, he's, the, he's the father of the boy. It's okay. What they should do is that they should come to the police station that morning with the kindred head and my mother. So I don't see how they will sort the matter. They were not happy thinking that, oh, matter has finished. Mm. The police even said maybe they'll even hand over the matter to the kindred head to come back and settle. Mm. So when they went to the police station, that's how they just arrested the father of the boy. That he's the one that instigated his children to yes. come and cause destruction in the house. So they said they are going to transfer the case to state CID the next morning. So while they were there, the chief started begging, went and called other traditional rulers to come to beg that they want to go and settle at home with my mother, that they should release the father on bail. They, they can even allow those boys to be there. They'll come back and settle when they settle before they would release, release those boys. boys. My mother was not sure of them because of the way they had mm. been so aggressive, unprovoked. So she just agreed that you're living with neighbors. These people are living with you. Mm. After everything, you, you still, still live with them. Together. So it's better to accept peace in any way you can. So she agreed that, OK, let them come and settle in the, in the, um, in the house. So they now released him on bail. Why his family went to go and look for the bail money to come and bail their father? She came back home that evening, because they were in the police station from morning till evening. Immediately she arrived at the house that evening. His family, this time around, all the women, the wives, the mm. two daughters, children, mm. started stoning us in the house. They all came out, started stoning us in the house, insulting us again. So my mother now called back the police, called also his kindred head because she had collected his number. She said, please, are you hearing the noise in the background? It is this man's family now that have now come out again to cause problem. That kindred head sent somebody to come and confirm what was happening? Mm -hmm. They insulted the man. Ah. So he left. That was the end of bail. The police did not bail the man again. They said this next day they are transferring the case. These people are not ready to. Mm, to for win. peace. Yes. So the next morning, still, other people still came to the house from the man's side, people that are in the area there, to come and beg my mother that she shouldn't take this case to state CID. While they were there, three of the man's sons still came to the house, still threatening my other brother, that they are going to kill him if they don't see their father today. Mm -hmm. The father that was arrested, said they are going to kill him if they don't see their father today. My mother said, to, please, I see people are begging me here. Go and control just these three that are being aggressive. Then I will see that, OK, you're serious about mm -hmm. settling this matter. When those ones went to go and control those boys, they still insulted them. They left. So everybody that was trying to mediate they were being insulted. They left. That's how the case was now transferred to state CID on the 22nd of March. 25th of March, they charged them to court. When we went to court, their lawyer was my senior in school. Because I just graduated from school now. I'm waiting, I'm waiting law school. So I saw, I recognized their lawyer. So he saw me, he didn't know that I was the complainant. So he saw me, he said, ah, what am I doing in the court? And I said, he's the lawyer of the people that looks for my mother's mm -hmm. trouble. He now said, ah, there is no something they can so solve out of court. I said, if he reaches that level, obviously, we will settle out of court. He said, OK. So he went and pleaded that they should uh, 
leave the case, let them leave court. The family are ready to come and settle. Out of court settlement. Out of court. That they should leave us, we'll come and settle. So the court should just allow us to we'll settle. So they bleeded, they asked us, okay, do we want settlement? Do we want to leave court? We said yes. Because at the end of the day, peace is the paramount thing. So we said, okay, we'll leave court and come and settle at home. So when we, when we even left court that day, the lawyer met me and was telling me that, eh, that the father said he was not even around. He was not there when his children were destroying this. I said I have And you video. have video. I have video evidence of the father. He said I should send it to him. I did not send it to him. I the told lawyer. him I'll send it later. The I lawyer. did not send it. Yes, the lawyer of the father. I did not send it. I still kept it. I said I will still use it. Maybe if I send it, he will look for defense to bring for the man. So I did not send it. We came back. So they were remanded pending when do we fulfill their bail conditions so that they will leave. So they came back after Easter. Hmm. They came back to the house after Easter. So when they came back, they now told the, the people in the community that the case has finished, that they took them to court, but they didn't do anything. Case has finished. They have hmm. still come back home. Nothing happened. It's just like uh, this uh, Ustaz where one collect Islamia. He, he, and, he go the brag, say, break at the family, they don't come out their hand on the matter. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> so, they came back after Easter. One week later, on, that was on the 8th of April. It was on a Monday. My mother prepared to go to work. She said her mind was not clear inside. Mm, her instinct was. Yes, mm. she said her mind was not clear. And before then, there was no problem more. She said her mind was not clear, so she just sat back in the parlor. Around 8 o'clock, that's how we just saw bikes. 8 o'clock in the morning? In the morning, sir. We just saw bikes. Plenty bikes with people coming to the compound. Young boys, hefty young men, plenty. They just came to the compound. So we quickly also locked the door again, because we knew that there was another problem. We locked the doors again. They came down, they said, what that man did not finish, they are here to finish it. So I just went again and carried my phone. Was your brother around that day? Yes, sir. Okay. Was, everybody was still around. The first time, the circle, everybody was around. Mm -hmm. So what they couldn't finish, they will finish it. So I just there recording them. What they first did, they went to my mother's pigry. Because she, she's keeping pigs, she's preparing for retirement. Mm. So she already started her animal farm that this is what she'll be using to sustain herself when she retires. So she has a pig farm. Those are exotic pigs. They are not Nigerian breeds of... Our former governor brought those pigs to the yes. state. Somebody said uh, your father is related to the first governor of Benue State. Yes, Ap sir. Uh, Aperaku. That's my family, sir. Okay. So... He went, they first went, my mother is keeping those pigs. She has 12 of those pigs, big, already re ready for, for insemination. Mm. They went, destroyed the door because the pigs are kept in. We don't allow our, our animals to roam about. They went and destroyed the door, packed all the pigs, put it on their bikes and left. Mm -mm. That was mm. the first thing. So when this thing was happening, she called police that ah, trouble has started again. No problem has started. So... They left, came back, and by the time the police will come, they already start come back and start destroying things on the house again. Because the first destruction that those people did, they just destroyed some windows. We, we need to see the videos, continue. They just destroyed some windows. So this time around, they started destroying the other windows, trying to break into the house. That was when they were going to carry the, the pigs from the farm. So... They took the, they said destroying the windows. By the time police arrived, because sometimes when you're telling police something, they want to come and confirm mm -hmm. first. Police dogs. Trying to come and confirm first before they would uh, act. Mm. So they just sent one van. They came. Those boys went and attacked the police. Huh? Yeah. Before the police will reach the house. They attacked the they police. As they saw the police coming on the streets, they ran to attack the police. They even destroyed their backlights. To try to enjoy one of these officers. They were trying to stone me when they saw that I was recording them. So they, the police now retreated when they were attacked. They retreated so that they were going to get back up. Those boys now felt that police are not coming again, that even the police that came 
they push them. Uh, so this time they are going to finish us and burn us in the house. You know, say local, hum local human beings, when you give them some more chance, they, they feel, say, na so it be. Like that who stars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. That's how they ah, were hitting ah, the door saved us that day. I'm telling Apart you that my from camera God just used our camera door and the burglary. Because you can see the burglar is very strong. It's not normal. I now holding this iron. Yes. Mm. So my mother used very quality products. She took her time to build that house. So she used very quality products. Even the doors were bulletproof doors. So they hit, tried doing all manner of things to enter the house. The thing did not budge. That's when they were carrying the pigs and going. The, the doors did not budge. Did not say, oh, it's to burn them inside the house. So like even the video they are taking, everything will burn and go. So by that, before they would do that, police now came with backup. This hey. was when the house was burning. <laughs> eh? I hope we are not there inside that time. No, we don't come out by then. So police came with backup. When the police came with back up this time, they were with their guns, um, tear gas launchers and all. So we, the quick, quick man evacuated us. So when they saw the police this time with arms and everything, they retreated a bit. Because they were not sure what would happen here yeah. because the police were not ready. Mm. So they retreated a bit. Because Let's that, appreciate the Nigerian police now. <laughs> and she here. She is super intelligent. Let's appreciate her. In fact, if lawyer no agree, take you. Come and practice journalism. You have done investigative journalism already. Let's appreciate her. So if law no agree, me too. So, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Lawyer agree. Lawyer yeah? agree. Lawyer agree. <laughs> lawyer no agree. We agree. You go choose which you are done a law you want. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. So when they retreated a bit, the police were now like pursuing them so that they can maybe make one or two arrests because the boys were much. <laughs> that is when maybe they, they allowed to one maybe of they they brought uh, some. Don't worry, some, sir. Uh, I will reach there. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know all the details, sir. So that is how another set of police now quickly evacuated us. They just said, "Come out." That is how what we were wearing with our phone. That is what we just run out of the house with they took us out of the house so they pull what happened was as though why those boys were retreating is because they had brought a juju man from somewhere to come and do a uh, protection for them because they were they knew that we always call police when police come can you imagine when they come they always call we always call police so that day they prepared please so allow the video allow the video why she is talking oh, let's yes. let, let us watch oh, the video mm -hmm. so they, are, they, they prepared their, themselves that even if why police sit to know it why mm -hmm. why why police will try why one why so what they were doing that man is going to see somebody on the road you, you with his, yes with his calabar and on fire Doing the calculation. They for shoot the calabash man. They shoot him. He catch him. They shoot him. No matter. Now when they give those boys the boldness, say okay, this they thing they want. Now miss them, miss him. Now miss him. They miss him. Okay, for this one, no get medicine. Okay, we need bread. They will. Now I have one son. They don't give police the need better than now me. The person who shoot him, he shoot him with fear for his body. So the thing they demand the same so give those because when the police came that time we gone, they were afraid that maybe that thing is not working. Mm. That's why they retreated. So as they shot at that man, I did not enter. They now knew that it was working. They now face police. We were seeing police. They were shooting, throwing rocket, rocket, um, tear gas. Tear gas. You see tear gas. We enter bush. We we're wondering that, nah, that fear. this police that don't nah, know they fear, are fear, no juju. When you shoot catapult with fear, yeah, see yeah, where yeah. you shoot them, you go go another place. So when you shoot gun, now like they started retreating. Oh, yeah. They started retreating. Hmm? Now then be this. Somebody oh, this, this. This one was even the first attack. So uh, even women follow them. I see the whole family, the whole family, children, where they even breastfeed, they carry come our house that day. Yeah. Oh. So we are the remaining videos now. Abi, don't finish. It's all the videos I sent. Abi, stay with them. 
So we want the, the whole world get the evidence. Attacking police. That's how police now retreated and took us away from there. As we were going, they were running back to the house. Fast forward, next video. They were running back to the house to go and set it on fire. Before we would get to police station, they, don't... they sent us video on our phone of our house bunny. Now the blocks where uh, my mask uh, do be this, Abby? I've been another person you know, blocks. The blocks, they, they those that thing where they like fence, short fence. Yes. Now blocks where they pile up there like yes, that. Yes, I see Long like that. Now him. blocks for, for fence. Before we reach, we saw. See, this house is a five bedroom apartment. I know what my mother went through to do this house. See, today she never finished to pay the loan. No. Now millions where she spent to bring lights to that. We stayed in that place two years, no, no light. light. That place has never seen light before. She's the one that brought light. Those and people are still enjoying that light now. Now I'm speaking to you. Ah, ah. They destroyed everything. All my mother's hard work. She came to Ben in 1990. All her properties, everything, all her credentials, don't burn. Don't burn. Mm. Her business that she was trying to set up as retirement plan destroyed. Gone. This car that you're seeing here, it is my contribution in my mother's office since '97 when they bombed me. She entered hey. that contribution to the cut her salary at source every month for contribution. She can't come out the money all buy this moto. They butcher the moto, destroy the glass, everything. And after this. I, after this thing happened, I said, no, this thing cannot go like this. I will go and post it on social media. So I escalated it on social media. People now still there talking about it. I reached out to the speaker of Benue State Assembly. So he sent the local government chairman to come to the station. The man came. They now went with the police in the evening to go and assess the level of damage in the house. When they went, everything completely burnt. Destroyed. Destroyed. Everything gone, even even iron being the melt to tell you the intensity of, of the, the fire. fire. Yes, they came back. So the next day, the speaker came, went and saw it. So we felt that okay, speaker don't come, something will happen. Speaker came, and I forgot to answer. Those boys collected one of the police weapons. Uh, yes. They collected their gun. Yes. When they attacked, when they, they, they were they, the police were retreating, they even beat up two police officers and injured them. One they almost come out in I they for in the for hospital for about three days before they come out. They collected a weapon of police. So the next day, they said that, that that gun must come out. Do you know that it was a traditional ruler? in that place that brought the gun to the station. So the police now asked that, where are the boys that you collected mm -hmm. this gun from? Mm -hmm. He said they, they refused to follow him. Ah. They said, if you cannot produce That's the boys, they you will detain you. you. They detained him, took him to state CID. The next thing we heard was that they have released the man. They did not even tell us from the state CID. We just heard they have released the traditional ruler. And that is how no arrest has been made till now. Those boys are still in the community. We are just on our own. And don't forget that we are from the family of the first civilian governor. That man, till today, is regarded as the best governor Benway State has ever produced. He did not steal any money. The only thing he left for us was a name. So we are the ones managing ourselves. He only left that good name for us, no money. But today, see what has happened. The next thing, those traditional rulers entered the meeting and came out with a press release that it is not that man's house they bought. So nobody should tell them anything about the civilian governor, that they had a good relationship with him. So there's no problem. So as far as it's not the man's house, we have no business to talk about being linked with. Is your with mother him. still working as a civil servant? Yes, sir. She has three years to retire. Anybody will get any suggestion to make or comment, please feel free. And then I go, I go open the, the, the telephone line. Apart from opening the telephone line, anybody will get suggestion for social media, most especially for YouTube, make you make the suggestion. 
My dear, sit down, please. First of all, let's appreciate her for how she's so articulate. Yes, this person narrates story finish. You don't need to begin uh, look for a demonstration again. Yes, coach. Yes, my ordinary president, uh, in the course of her narration, she said the speaker of Benue State. Uh, speaker, be microphone. <laughs> So, my honorary president, I think uh, there's a need uh, for us to call him. Who is the commissioner of police? Because since a division cannot handle. See, make I tell you now. Commissioner of police waiting. You see, when people they shout uh, state police, state police, I just they look them. <laughs> Federal police, they, governor, they control them to go and kidnap somebody, to go and kill somebody. Then you can't talk of state police. We go they under the control of the state governor. No incumbent governor will ever lose election with a state police. I just they see people, they go, they talk, hey, state police, state police. Federal police, then they influence federal police to use them. State governor go determine who be, who, who go be commissioner of police for his state. He go determine who be who for in state at federal, which they get they get federal police. Talk more of when they talk. We, I think we should move this case to Abuja. Yes, yes, yes. Where the governor will have less. No, see, he still get influence. Mm -hmm. But you know, go be like when he, the matter day for state. Who is this? Who is this? Yes, sir. involve the SGA, former governor. That is Judge Okuni. The SGA, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Can you stay away from the radio, sir? Sir? Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, we can involve the SGA in this case. The former governor of the United States, Judge Okuni. Definitely, he will do something. No. Uh, engineer, what is your name? Engineer Magaji Mohammed Yaya. Engineer Mohammed Yaya. Yaya, yeah, yeah, yes. This thing Remember where you talk, listen. Come here, yeah. come carry this girl, come meet George Akume. Because we no get confidence, we are in there. Okay. He is the sure. secretary to the government of the Federation. But we are yes. not sure of him. You were they sure of him. We were they talk with confidence. The girl is here. Come and take her to George Akume. So, sorry, sir. I just hope, say, shame no go catch you at the end of the day. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. you go, come carry her back. I know, I'm not around. I'm not close to the place now. Uh, you go, you go, which day you go come back, sir? Uh, I'm coming back next week, but before then, I will try to make contact with SGF office. Uh, Fine, I believe there is no positive answer. Definitely, I'll let you know. No positive answer must come. You don't put yourself for inside this matter. Thank you. Thank yes, you, make we appreciate engineer Magaji. Uh, Abi, now anybody we talk say make we do like this, he go follow us, do like that. Hello, good morning. The way you talk, you say you definitely do something. Now you don't reach to carry her go. You know, you know. Uh, uh, hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. My name is Okula Tekin Jero. I'm from Benue, but I live in Abuja. Ah, so it's a very bad. It's a very bad something. Mm. That's how our youth used to be. Mm -hmm. Because most of us don't go to school, and that that is, that is what is affecting us. Mm. Most of us, we don't take police in our state. Let me say it. We don't take police like people in our state. Mm -hmm. when Somebody offend you, they will say go and take soldier. Because if, even if we go to police, we come those words, we go against them. So please, you should help us do something about this. I, I, are, you, are you thief by tribe? Yes, sir. Uh -uh. And you know you are not happy. Local local government. And you are not happy with what your uh, your people are doing, Abi? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Thank Th you, sir. Thank you, sir. Azaham Matthew, he said my Benue people. We can do better, better. What form of inhumanity is this? Late uh, Aperaku, 
was a leader and a father to all Benue and never stole five naira till today. No record of such. What has the family done? Now they are separating them. They are separating them. Yes, go ahead, please. This uh, level of callous nature from coming from this kind of people is very unfortunate. It'd be like Sidosu would then get a gang or a gang of uh, within politicians they keep use when they need, they do. Because if the thing don't get to this level when we say speaker, no fit take a decision and very decisive. Speaker decision. be microphone. Now speaker be that. <laughs> a very decisive decision. And to Brown to the state. Ordinary also inform DSS. Mm -hmm. So I, I'll, I'll be of the opinion, my president, because it, 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 it don't become too unbecoming. Following the records of the hearsay, those people need to be dealt with. Possibly the heads, because if the communal head, no fit, begin... Communal head, we go go recover AK-47. You know if you identify them. the police Five and... Now, the sea finish don't reach the, the, the one level. Uh -huh. When I see IDP, people where they live around IDP, all this on one and the rest. If they go thief your thing, mm. they carry and go IDP, sell them. If you come recognize your thing, mm. they go give you bill. How much you go pay to collect your thing? In Abuja here. <laughs> In Abuja, the lawlessness is getting somewhere. Your own thing, the thief your generator, you see for IDP camp. <laughs> They go tell you how much you go pay to collect your generator mm -hmm. or TV or anything. God. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The level of impunity. Uh, sorry, consultant. I, oh, no, I, press this, uh, <laughs> I want to add something. Yes. After, I remember that when that man was threatening us, they will always be making a statement that they've done it to somebody before. So we'll be the second to leave that community. Oh. So we did not know who. After we left and this thing escalated, I put it, put it out on Facebook. The person reached out to me. He told me and he collected my number and called me and spoke to me. He said he lived in that community, he bought a plot, he built his house, he even fenced it. But when those guys wanted to deal with him, they jumped his fence, came in, destroyed everything in the house. Which is, that means fence will not even prevent yes. them from doing what they want to do. They destroyed everything that he just hid in a corner. When they did all they wanted to do and go, he, that's how he packed his things and, and left. left and then took them to court. So he stayed in court for three years. At the end, they, they, they passed judgment against him that he did not have evidence uh -huh. against those people. Oh. And that is how he did not return there. Uh, that is what has also given them the confidence that no matter what, even court they went, nothing. So they can do whatever they want to do. You see this uh, prince, uh, prince, something princess, prince and princess. Okay. This area of prince and princess. Yes, sir. Towards uh, this uh, Parkview yes, sir. estate, yes, sir. the boys where they thief around there are TV boys and the Doma boys. Yes, as at this now, where would they talk? Some of them don't they drunk already this morning. Hmm. Some of them they sleep for those those joints. Some very early in the morning. They are duty time now night and evening. Now now they will rob you and collect your things. Nigeria. Mm. We go cry, yo. Uh, you, you are very right. We go cry. <laughs> when the time reach, we go cry. Judiciary, can you imagine? We go cry. Uh, my ordinary president. Yes, sir. my dear. Um, sometimes, like with even with this um, broadcast right now, the governor can still claim he does not have an idea on what is happening. So I would suggest that we try to reach the government, the present governor of the state. Because we were talking now, maybe we're drawing to conclusion that um, he's aware, he's aware. Let's just assume that. Even with this publication, they will still feel they are not aware. My so dear. let's try to reach if them directly. You say in a party office, them born. If I don't hear, I who reached out to the CPS that very day. Chief, I narrated Chief press secretary to the governor. Yeah, he said he was with governor. He related to the governor. Okay, you don't hear now, defender. 
say they are not aware. No defender, you don't hear now. <laughs> See, it's a waste of time talking to the governor. My dear, tell by Monday we go discuss with Momsi. When I go leave that community, your life is in danger. We are not even there. Okay? We have been displaced. Don't worry. We will look for a way to relocate you by supporting Mama. Thank you very much, sir. You understand? Thank you very much. No, please sit down, ma. Sit down, ma. And support will come from all over the world for you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, brother. The family. One woman where they call Titi in the history of northern Nigeria. Titi, now one poor woman, we don't support many people. She not get too much, too many enemies. She did nice to everybody. The little way she get, if you come to tea house, she go feed you. If she hear say somebody die for you, she go come commiserate with you. She go condole you. If she hear say uh, your wife born, she go inside at her level. She go do something. Come give you. Titi was known by almost everybody. One day, Titi house can't catch fire. Her two rooms where she they manage. When I patch, she they patch on every raining season. Now be the origin of Gobar and Titi. Where house people they talk, say, Allah is Naki is a Gobar and Titi. May your own uh, fire incidents resemble that of Titi. When people hear say TT house don't burn, this person will bring block. This person will bring zinc. By the time they exhaust the blocks and the zinc, they don't build three-story building for TT and material still remain. <laughs> they don't build three-story building for TT. No, two-story building for TT. Material still they come from different places. If you are nice bad thing happen to you god can convert it to something positive for you yes, my dear yes sir we see their community now community will progress yes. they far away from yes. you are you remember the first person where they pursue and they are proud to say it yes, so. you can imagine and the one when i won't go police go escort to now go go disconnect the light Yes, yes. 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 Oh, oh. Go home. Una go carry this uh, poison where they take the catch fish for uh, this thing. Gamalin, this thing. Pour them inside. Yeah. Anybody yeah. who drink, he die. Yeah. Yeah. Plus pia pia. Yeah. And red oil, and granite oil, and engine oil. Put inside the borehole. Mix and well well. No wonder Benue know the progress. I see I'm not. Now Benue get Senate president for many years. Yet, the road to his house no good. Nothing. Food basket of the nation have been a full basket of the nation. Yes, continue. Make I hear you. Now the good morning, sir. Maybe now first beautiful house where they get uh, for their place. Maybe within themselves, now envy. They worry them. Maybe naive. Madam Happiness, yes, the thing way elders and children go participate, yes, uh, partake. It means uh, those children where they, they carry for a bag, which yes, Sabi work as small. Now they don't initiate them. Yes, sir. Now the kind of wickedness where they go take grow be that. Yes, sir. That such a community should be avoided. Leave them for them. May then they marry each other, they kill each other. Yes, One day they go start fight amongst themselves and they will yes. qu kill each other. When I know they go back to that community again. Yes, my ordinary If president. government like, may they support you. If they no like, may they leave. The world will support you. Amen. 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 By the grace of God, your family will have every reason to glorify God some more. Amen. 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 Say, make we. You wait talk, say make we call the former governor of uh, uh, Benue State. What him be his name? The present SGF. Yeah. 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 Akume. Akume. George Akume. 
will not get access to them. You will talk. You will definitely do, do something. Definitely. Now, carry her go. You know, day for town. Anytime when you come, you say, yeah, you go contact. If there, uh, there is no uh, progress, positive. if there is no positive, uh, this thing. We, but you will tell us definitely, 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 no be assurance. Yes. Yes. When they say definitely, that is a uh, hundred percent assurance plus one. <laughs> we know they sure, but you go good by the grace of God. Amen. Whether speaker go, microphone follow, you know matter. So imagine. Waiting TV, they do t fellow TV. Imagine waiting they do Fulani people. Imagine waiting they do Jukun people. Imagine waiting they do other tribes. TV people come Nasarawa State, one community. From give me small place, make I farm. They don't take over the community. Now they are fighting the owners of the land. Where they come to farm small yam. I want to tell him who. No question, sir. Mm-hmm. My ordinary president, she did not talk about what the speaker said. Please let her say what the speaker to them in the station. Oh, yeah. A waiting speaker talk on my phone. People see they believe politicians. You speak or talk anything. It <laughs> matter for don't end now. But they are talk with you speak or talk for, for, for that place. He say make they transfer the case to... Now he been say make they transfer the case to state CID. Say he give the security agency 20, 48 hours to apprehend those people. Mm -hmm. yeah, this thing don't reach like uh, 10 hours now. It they go one month, sir. Okay. Speaker don't talk. <laughs> Speaker don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> you see where I speak at all microphone. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So it already reached one hour now. I be you give them twenty four hours. Forty eight hours. Forty eight hours. And the team don't reach like how many? On Monday it will be one month. No, no problem. No problem. <laughs> Speaker don't talk. Oh. Mm. oh man, Dave, you don't hear. I be speaker never talk. Oh man, Dave, never hear. Talk, talk, uh. talk. Talk. Uh. Yes.